It's Wendy Bowen from Startline Health and Wellness Group. Today I wanted to talk with you a little bit about tennis elbow. One of the reasons tennis elbow is often when you're feeling pain in this outer part of the elbow. This is called the lateral elbow joint. Golfer's elbow is more when you get pain on the inside. What brings on the tennis elbow is often, it used to be called uh, inflammation of the elbow joint. But what we're finding is that it's not often inflamed. The tendon, all the tendons that move the muscle to move your wrist up and down like this, the muscles are down here, the tendon is up in here. And where it attaches to the bone is often where you're gonna feel the pain. But a lot of times it's these muscles that have gotten tight. So when someone plays tennis and they do a backhand and they're, they're often doing this motion with their backhand, they may get sore in there. Sometimes it happens when people lift firewood or something palm down like this and they're straining these muscles and they may start to feel it in the tendon as well. The elbow joint is a hinge joint here. So it has a little hook in it and it bends and straightens. And what happens is this is the part of the arm bone that rolls and rotates. So the outer part of the elbow pain is right up in here. So the muscles come down and cross over top of this area. So one of the things that you might want to do when you're having the pain up in here is we need to look at what muscles are tight down in here. Are they short and tight? The other muscle that's really important is this one here and it does this motion. And that can have a trigger point. And if you push on it, if you've got elbow pain, it may actually refer pain right to that elbow area. So we want to keep these muscles loose and sometimes we have to loosen off the tendon as well. One of the techniques we do is to use IMS, which is to poke that muscle with an acupuncture needle to release the tightness in there. You can massage out this area. If there's been a buildup of scar tissue, you may use shockwave therapy. The other thing to do is to stretch. This is the stretch that you want to stop and do periodically throughout the day when you've got tight muscles in through here. Curl the fingers under, bend the wrist down and hold it. There's something that's called eccentric exercises, which can lengthen the, mu the, mu the tendon while you're strengthening the muscle. What you need to do is take a weight, a small weight, and you have to lift it up with the other hand and lower it down slowly. Lift it up, lower it down. If you do this without lifting up with the other hand, it shortens the muscle and may tighten it down and pull more. But when you do this, you're doing it passively and then you lower down and that will strengthen it while lengthening the muscle. And those are called eccentrics. And quite often you're gonna do three reps of 15 or until fatigue, it starts to tire out. Sometimes you can use it, do it with an elastic band. So if you don't have a weight, but you have one of these elastic bands, you can do it that way. So you lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. If you have ongoing problems and you haven't seen any kind of therapist, give us a call at Startline Health and Wellness Group and we can help release the elbow muscles and teach you how to strengthen it appropriately. Thank you.